This video is going to be on the at and batch commands. Now, unlike cron tabs, at and batch are used for one time job schedulers. So, let's say you just need to run a specific file or a specific command one time at a given time, then you would use at or batch. So, let's go ahead and start by uh, defining what at is and how we use it. At is based on time. So, you supply at a given time, day in advance, things like that and it would run the commands that you listed during that time that you specified. Batch on the other hand is actually is based off of the server load. So by default batch runs when the server load is under 0.8. So it's based off the system utilization stats. So let's go ahead and start by using at. So to use at all we need to do is specify the utility name at followed by the time that we want to run it. So let's go ahead and type the command date and it's 10.07 right now. Let's say we let's check to see if we actually have the at command which at yep and we have it there. If you didn't have at all you would need to do is install the package and let's say you didn't know let's see what the package name is I believe it's at but to find out we can just do rpm dash query file and then we would just which at and you'll see that it is the app package so in order to install you would just do yum install at run that and it would take you through the whole install process currently I already have it installed so it'll let me know that while I'm installing it give that a second actually just cancel this out. Here we go, it's actually moving along. Setting up the install process now. And you'll see that the package add is already installed and to the latest version so there's nothing to do. So it exited out the um, installer. So let's go ahead and start using it. So to use at, we just type the word at followed by time. So we're going to give it at 10.09 so let's do at 10, or actually let's do 1010. 10. Enter, and now you would type the command that you want to issue. So let's say we want to uptime, and we'll type the command uptime, redirect it to put it in the root directory also, and we'll just call it uptime.at.txt to let us know that we use the at command. So I just pressed enter, but to actually, so you can actually enter multiple commands at once, or you can just type control D, and that would schedule your task and run it as soon as it becomes that time. So right now it is 10.09, we schedule it for 10.10, so if we type at Q, it'll show us that we have one cron, or one, one scheduled task at 10.10 by root. So let's go ahead and look at the time again. And you'll see that it's still in the queue. So at queue is pretty much just a queue that shows you a list of commands that are currently pending or scheduled tasks that are currently pending to go out. Now this at queue works for both batch and at. Let's see what time it is now. We have about another 20 seconds. Let's see and so far we shouldn't have anything in our home directory right now we're currently logged in as root you can see that here and let's go, we're currently in the home directory so oh, and there we go uptime.at ran let's see what the time is right now yeah it is 1010 let's look at the queue it's currently out of the queue and let's let's go ahead and view that file and you'll see that it actually wrote the one line that we needed from uptime at the given time that we wanted it to run. So let's go ahead and try it. Try another one. Type at. Well, let's see what the date is. 1010. Let's do it at at 10:12. And let's say we want to run. We'll write uptime again. We're going to go ahead and run a couple commands. Let's run 
free, which shows you how much free memory we have. And we'll put that to root memory dot at dot txt. And let's go ahead and write. Let's take the contents of ps dash aux and pipe it over to, or redirect append redirect to root ps dot txt at dot txt. So control D, everything's scheduled. So you'll see we have our second test scheduled already to run at 10:12 on today's date. Let's go ahead and run date. Let's see what time it is. We have another 14 seconds. Date seven seconds. Right now you should see nothing there. You'll see our file size is 62. What's the date? And now we should have something here. So we have so we have our PS. We have our uptime, which you see increased in size. And we have our memory. So let's go ahead and view the contents of each of these. So cat memory, PS, and uptime. And you'll see we have our uptime here with the two lines that we added, or the second line that we added to that same file. Our PS, which is here, as well as our memory, memory usage. That's pretty much the, all there is to at. You can also specify a file to run. For instance, let's go ahead and create a file called, we'll do vi at dot script we'll call it and let's go ahead and type uptime and we'll put that into the root uptime dot at dot actually dot txt so now that we have that let's go ahead and see what time it is it's now 10.13. Let's go ahead and schedule another one. At, we can actually specify the file name by using the F flag. And then we just specify the time that we want it to run, which is 10.14. And we have another job scheduled. So if we look at at Q, you'll see we have another job scheduled. It is right now almost 10.14, so that job should run. And... Up times there, let's see what the date is. Oh, so now it should have run. Let's do ls-l. The file size changed. Let's go ahead and cat the contents, and we should have a third line, and we do. For the new uptime based off the file that we passed the at utility. Another utility that you can use is the batch utility. Now, batch, unlike at, runs based off the off the system utilization statistics. So let's go ahead and do top and you'll see that our load average is at 2. You know, for, for in the last minute it's been 2, then we have 6, so these are the averages for the last 15 and 5 minutes. So here's the 5 minute average, here's the 15 minute average, and here's the 1 minute average. So our system's pretty good. It's under the default which is 0.8 because batch scripts by default will only run if the server load is under 0.8. So let's go ahead and create a batch, uh, a batch, batch schedule. And you do this similar to at by just typing batch, followed by enter, and then you'll see it prompts you with the at com with the at command line for you to type in the commands which you'd like you'd like to process. So let's just do uptime do some append redirection to uptime.batch.txt and let's exit that by doing control D you'll see it's scheduled it's already out of the schedule because our load average is under 0.8 so if we do ls-ltr you'll see that uptime batch was created it's the latest file that was edited let's go ahead and cat the contents 
and you'll see that it put our uptime stats just as we wanted. That's pretty much it for at and batch. Let me know if you guys have any questions.